Junior Achievements Job Spark Virtual is an amusement park for jobs targeted toward eighth grade and high school students. So here to tell us more about this is Amanda Coburn with Junior Achievement. Hi. <laughs> Where's the dog? Where's the cat? I Where's know. The bunny? I know. I'm wearing real clothes. It's all it's all different this time. All right. So let, let's just get right to it. Junior Achievement first fill folks in with what it is. Yes. Junior Achievement um, is a fairly old organization. Nationally, it's been around for more than 100 years. Um, but if you don't know what it is or you've forgotten, we focus on three main pillars of student success, which are financial literacy, entrepreneurship, and work and career readiness. Um, we are embedded in the school day, so all JA programming for the most part is done in the actual classroom. It's not after school. It's not before school. Um, it's embedded in the school day, which means it has much more equitable access. All students have access to it. Um, and we, we really are in a unique position to do that. So that's great. Um, JA Job Spark Virtual, which is what we're here to talk about today, really focuses on that work and career readiness piece. Um, like you said, it's an amusement park for jobs. It's normally in person. This year it's virtual, of course, for mm -hmm. one more year. Um, but it has eight career clusters and focuses on showing kids the different kind of career options that are out there. So, um, for example, two of those clusters are health and life sciences and business finance and communications. And it really talks about um, not only only your kind of cookie cutter jobs you know most kids say I want to be a doctor I want to yeah, be a lawyer sure. things like that um, but they don't think about when they want to be a doctor at a hospital a hospital also has an IT department and a marketing department and kind of making those connections for kids of what careers are out there so uh, th is there any signing up for this how does this work yes so um, we work directly with the educators to sign up the students and we have more than 7,000 registered so far Whoa. in Vandenberg and Warwick County um, okay. we serve 15 counties total and we do have some of those outlying counties registered as well um, but we really need businesses to be a part of it so if your company is really looking to get in front of students and say here's why we love working in this industry not just for your company but your industry um, we're always looking for those there's the career cluster right there on your screen um, you can also participate in multiple just for the one registration fee so if you're a company you know for example WEHT you guys could easily participate in the communications sure. cluster yeah. and also the business cluster there's lots of different um, overlap sometimes and you're welcome to do that so um, definitely get in touch with us if your company would like to be in front of local eighth grade and high school students so this is actually just to try to give the students a, an idea of what it's like to work in a, in a business setting and is that something they really want to do down the road? Of course, yeah. Um, and the students get some curriculum in advance for this so their teacher goes over some things with them um, and then the live event itself um, is November 16th and 17th. So during those two days we're having live Zoom sessions in the classroom with panelists from different industries. Um, so for example, last year we had a women in manufacturing panel which was really oh, interesting. Cool, yeah. Um, yeah, so we, we have a lot of different panels. We're kind of, you know, navigating who our partners are. Um, I know the technology panel is having a Minecraft programming um, <laughs> cool. session this year, which of course the kids are going to enjoy. So um, we can really work with you on what material the kids might want to see. You can upload digital assets as well. So like a video of your company, PDFs and things like that um, for the kids to browse ahead of time. And then they'll have access to those assets even after the 16th and 17th event. So if the, if the moms and dads and grandparents are saying, I, little Johnny hadn't said anything about this, little Johnny, we got to <laughs> get you signed up, how they do that. Yeah, talk to your, te your student's teacher. Um, say, hey, I have an eighth grader. Um, is your class registered? And if they're not, you can have them get in touch with us um, because we would love to have more students registered. Um, like I said, we have a, a very good majority of Vandenberg and Warwick County registered already, but we serve all the way up to Orange and Martin County, over to Spencer and Posey and all okay. other counties too. So definitely ask your student's teacher. All right, Amanda Coburn here with uh, Junior Achievement. Good to see you again, finally. Good to finally. see you, yeah. All right. Good stuff there. Education, love it as always. All right, thanks, Amanda, for your time.